It is a great pleasure that Soraya Sayed is our guest of tonight. She is a UK artist, calligrapher, and I would call her a typical young Londoner <laughs> of mixed Pakistani French origin. She has been living in Istanbul for the last three years. There she completed her apprenticeship on Islamic calligraphy and was awarded the Ijazed Name, which is the Islamic calligraphy diploma in 2005. People can live together side by side from different cultures and different faiths without getting any real reason or chance to meet or communicate. And we thought that through calligraphy, this would be an excellent way of bringing people together who otherwise wouldn't meet. And I hope that we do this tonight. Well, when you learn Islamic calligraphy, you then, it's part of the deal. You learn it, you spread it, and it has to pass on and continue. And that's how it evolves as an art and as it spreads to new places. It is said that the calligrapher needs five things. A fine temperament, understanding of calligraphy, a good hand, endurance of pain, and the necessary utensils. And if any five of these are missing, then it will be of no use even if you strive for a hundred years. Uh, it's fascinating. One, one thing that I find very interesting is the fact that it is the, the, the writing instrument, the pen, that dictates the speed. It's not you anymore. It means you cannot go faster than your pen. If not, it doesn't work. So it's something very interesting also today that uh, you are not controlling. And the computer, if you are good, you can write 200 characters a minute. But with the calligraphy, you have to practice a lot. You have to make a uh, hundred, two hundred times the same letter until you can improve your writing, but you cannot go faster than, than, than your pen. The importance of calligraphy in Islamic culture cannot be underestimated. Since the birth of Islam, the act of writing and the use of the pen gained special significance. Donc il y a la calligraphie chinoise et il y a la calligraphie vietnamienne. Alors comme le vietnamien est très le Vietnam a été très pendant mille ans influencé par la civilisation chinoise. Alors euh, on voit même si c'est la calligraphie vietnamienne donc basée sur l'alphabet latin, il y a toujours le fond chinois derrière. Mm. Et ça montre aussi qu'à travers les arts, et justement ce, ce sujet de calligraphie, oui. de culture, oui. on arrive à vraiment mettre tout le monde entier ensemble. Bah bien sûr, les barrières, euh, les tout, frontières sont d'une flexibilité infinie. Plus important. Oui, 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 oui. In Islam, the quest for knowledge is incumbent upon every female and male believer, and writing is perceived as a special quality given by God to the human race. For example, in Istanbul, where I live at the moment and where I studied, there are Japanese students and they're not Muslim, but um, they are coming to the art from a purely artistic uh, perspective and interest because they see the shapes as graphic forms which they can use in design and in their own artwork, whereas I would see it differently. So there's different ways of looking at the same art depending on your background and what you want from it, basically. In what way is calligraphy of interest in the contemporary world? Well, calligraphy can be used as graphic elements and graphic shapes. So in design, um, calligraphy in its traditional forms can still have relevance today. Um, it's up to designers and artists 
to make the past relevant and contemporary and to give old models new flavours and to, um, to experiment with them. I mean, art is also like music. You don't necessarily need to understand the words of a particular song, but you can really much relate to it and enjoy it. And I, I feel that calligraphy is very much the same as we've seen from the workshops that we've had here. There have been people from different parts of Switzerland, different origins, and yet they have all enjoyed it. But I, I'm sure that each one of them have taken away from the workshop something slightly different. How would you say have your London woods influenced you? Well, I think um, by being a Londoner, I've. Uh, I'm actually very open-minded. Um, I'm so used to being with people of different cultures, different types of dress, food, um, music, arts in general. I grew up um, you know, going to the museums and seeing work by Picasso, Monet, and appreciating it as art and taking from it what I thought was good and using it within my own cultural and religious framework. And that's fine, it works fine. I don't see why we can't all um, live together. And I think perhaps as artists we have, we are open-minded generally and it's hard for other people to see this, the world in the same light that we do. Yeah, to celebrate the richness of diversity. And not to be afraid well, of diversity and not to fear it. Arts in general and calligraphy, Islamic calligraphy in this particular case, offer an ideal way of bringing people together. We organize many programs which build mutually beneficial relationships. We present the contemporary face of UK and stimulate cultural dialogue and understanding. Trust plays a very important role in today's world. Many of our projects encourage artists to collaborate with partners overseas with results that are exciting for both for the arts world and for the intercultural understanding. Well, there's a widespread saying that the Quran was revealed in the Hijaz, it was best recited in Egypt and written the finest in Istanbul. Even today, Istanbul has remained the center of calligraphy largely because of the continuation of the master apprenticeship system in which established principles of calligraphy are transmitted from generation to generation. This chain of transmission has remained unbroken up to the present day. Uh, it was a great opportunity to have uh, this event organized by the British Council here in collaboration with the Comunità Islamica in Canton Ticino, the Islamic community in Canton Ticino, to bring together different cultures. So in this case, to present the Islamic art it has been really a great experience and it is really uh, a step forward in understanding each other and share positively the society and try to build a positive society. Yeah.